So this time we have a rather simple topic to talk about, and that is namely how to get flash on iPad and on iPad camera. And there are three things on how we can access it or how to get get to it actually. So let's just go over it. First of all, not every single iPad has a physical flash on the back, so it's really easy to find out if yours has. Just flip the iPad and take a look at the camera module. If there is this white circle around it, then of course your iPad has a camera flash. And like I say, it's a basic thing, but it's also a legitimate search topic, so that's why I'm covering it here. Anyways, if you'd like to just turn it on without the camera, if you'd like to enable the flash, you have to control it from the control center. So swipe down from the upper right corner and you should see the torch. If you tap it, of course, it's going to light up. If you hold down to it, you can control uh, the brightness or the intensity of the torch. If you for some reason cannot find it there, just navigate to the settings and in the control center section, scroll down and make sure to add it to included controls from the more control section. So pretty much click on the green plus icon to add it and make it show up there in your control center. But if you'd like to use it with your camera, there are some things that you need to know about it. Of course, open up the camera icon and you can use the flash for pretty much every single of the photo modes, uh, except for the panorama. So you can use it on the photo portrait square, but not on the panorama. Anyways, you see the flash icon right there next to the shutter button, so you just tap on it and you can turn it on, you can turn it off, and you can set it on automatic. The automatic option doesn't really work, at least for me, the best I'd say, because a lot of times what I'd like to like the flash to go off, it just doesn't, so that's why I just always either turn it on or turn it off. And yes, you can also use it with video, but uh, this of course applies that it, you just keep using it throughout the time you are actually recording the video, so during the entire time. And also you can use it for slow motion, but interestingly enough, you cannot use it with time lapse, as that would drain a lot of the battery life, and we just want to avoid that, of course. There's also a flash feature for the front-facing camera, but this, of course, doesn't have a built-in LED light on the front side of the iPad, like there is no such thing. So the flashlight using the front-facing camera simply flashes the entire screen, so you just are like lit up from the display itself. And this can, again, be used with the photos. Uh, so in the regular photo mode, in the portrait, or in uh, the square, but you cannot use it in panel because you can use it only with the reader camera, and you can also cannot use it with the front-facing video as that would make be just impossible. So uh, this is just how it works. Is it possible to download some third-party apps that have access to the Flash? Obviously it is possible, but I do not think that there is uh, anything else that you would really need besides these built-in functions. So you can download a dedicated Torch app from the App Store if they still exist. <laughs> Anyways, you wouldn't really be uh, using that since you have it built in already in the iPad OS. Anyways guys, I do not think that I could add anything to that video. In case there is anything else that you would like to say, then leave a comment down below. And also, if you had this search thing in your mind and you search for this keyword and you you meant something else as other than what I've shown in the video, then let me know what it was, let me know what answer you didn't get for the question you had. So. Uh, let me know all of that down below in uh, the comment section, and you can also leave a thumbs up if you liked it, obviously, and subscribe so you don't miss future uploads. Have a great rest of the day, and we can see each other in the future videos.